Hello, my name is Peter Parfit and welcome to the New Book Workshop. Now, at this time of year, I can't be stuck inside the workshop making things with bits of wood. There's lots of work to do outside. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I've gone about my lawn care for this time of year. Now, when we moved to the new house, uh, one of the problems we had was with the, the lawns. And they were very mossy and really they hadn't been well looked after. Uh, not that we're going to be much better, but we're going to do our best. And the first thing that we've decided to do is to deal with the moss. Now, several weeks ago, we bought a couple of bags of this stuff. It's made by a company called miracle Grow, and this is their Evergreen Moss Kill. And it's a granular mixture which uh, is then spread onto the grass uh, during dry weather, and it should be watered in or rangefed for within three days of it going on. Now, in order to get something granular evenly spread, uh, we, <laughs> we bought one of these. And it, well, it was not hugely expensive, but I tell you what, it did enough save a lot of time and effort, and it did improve improve the evenness of the spread apart from the two bits I'm going to show you in a second and basically you put this mixture in there uh, and you've got a little control mechanism here which you can set uh, to match the size of the granules so that you get the right spread uh, as you move this along the lawn and basically inside here it might be difficult to see but inside here there's a little rotating uh, arm uh, and then below that are some holes and by making this adjustment here you alter the, the aperture the, the size of those holes and so that dictates the amount of the dry uh, mixture that goes in so pushing it along that's all you do and you make sure uh, you cover the whole lawn and we did this about two and a half weeks ago and you can see the two bits just here and this is why I'm filming it just here where I've missed it that line there is where I've missed and this little bit here is where I missed and the reason is I know exactly why the sun was shining in my eyes and I missed my root uh, just a tiny bit here but it does actually illustrate how effective uh, this evergreen moss kill is so we're really pleased with that and the next stage after that and that's what I'm going to do today is to use the scarifier the scarifier basically lifts up most of the moss not quite all of it but most of the dead moss and some of the thatch that is inside the grass and then we take that away and then hopefully what's left behind is uh, grass which is going to grow and take over from everything else which was there before. Now, just a quick reminder, when you're using a scarifier like this, you need really good footwear, preferably boots, something to uh, protect you in case a, a stone comes up and hits you from behind. Of course, you need ear defenders, and above all, you need eye protection. So just remember those three things. Now, this machine came with this catcher fits at the back and all of the grass and moss and stuff gets pushed into here but the reason I'm not using it is very simple after about 10 feet it's full and then you've got to keep stopping emptying and so on so I find it much easier to use it the way I am and then gather everything together all the moss and grass together in a different way and I'll show you that in a few seconds well here's my solution to tidying up this little lot I'm going to start by using this machine to gather it all together and then when I've done that I've got another gadget to show you. Well I think that was a pretty good demonstration of what the uh, this machine can do. Now we've got another secret gadget and here's that gadget. It came from Screwfix. We bought it uh, probably about a year ago and it is brilliant. Brilliant at picking up grass, brilliant at picking up leaves or anything else that happens to be on the ground. All you do is squeeze it like so, drop it in the bin and you can actually use the gadget to get the stuff moved around a bit if you need to. Absolutely brilliant. So anyway, so there we go, picking up grass, moss, etc. dead easy.
Now that's everything done now. I've just run the lawnmower over the, the, the grass and that's picked up the last of the little bits of thatch and bits of moss. And I'm going to leave the grass now to really uh, get its strength back and then I'm going to mow it every week, maybe every 10 days, depending on the weather, and certainly not mowing it too short during dry spells. I'm just about to put up the badminton net, and I think I better just tell you uh, how I made this. First of all, I've bought uh, a net itself, the actual netting I've bought. Uh, it was not expensive, plenty of options on the internet to buy a badminton net. The net should be 1 meter 55 high, and just over six meters in length. Now I needed poles at each end. So what I did was I went to screw fix and I bought some one inch galvanized steel conduit. And I've got some aluminium tubing, which is just a nice tight fit on the outside of this. And I've set a piece of that in the ground in concrete just here and ditto at the other end. And so now my cut length of galvanized tube can fit in and that's nice and solid. And here is that piece of aluminium pipe. You can see it in there. It goes down about 400 millimeters in the concrete. And then the top part, I have a short piece of plastic drain pipe and it's only about 100 millimeters long. It just goes into the top half of the concrete. And the reason for that is I've got this cap that goes on it. It's got a recess here which goes down over that black plastic pipe. It's got this piece of threaded stuff here which is a weight and then I can put this on here like so. So when the badminton is not in use that then seals that lot off and I can mow over that with no problem at all. Now in order to finish uh, this off uh, so it's quite stiff. I've put inside this steel tubing a piece of 20 millimeter wooden dowel and I've put it in with a little bit of uh, watertight glue, a Gorilla Glue if you're interested, and that goes from that end up to about here and then there's a piece at the top. And that's allowed me to drill a hole and then screw in these little eyelets, one here and one here, which helps me fix on the net. Now the net has got to go over the top if I bring this close, you can now see how I've done the top. This is a piece of oak and I've drilled two holes. First of all, a hole which is about 10 millimeters deep, which is 25 millimeters in diameter. So it fits on the outside of this steel tube. And then concentric with that, I've drilled a hole which is 20 millimeters in diameter, which goes in just a little bit further. And into that, I've put a short length of the 20 millimeter dowel. So now this top bit fits neatly inside there. That's retained by this eyelet here, which goes through a hole here into the dowel. And the top is shaped just nicely so that my top string can go across there and then down. So that's it. Badminton now on the newly refurbished lawn. Many thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.